What's going on everyone? Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. In this video, we're talking about multi-layer EXR output for post-processing workflows. If you've ever wanted to output multi-layer files with PSD, but were not part of the Adobe ecosystem, then this video is for you. EXR output can be found under the output settings in the render window by clicking on the format dropdown and locating EXR from the format menu. If you're a Photoshop user or are familiar with processing PSD outputs, EXR is essentially the same thing, but packaged in a more universally accepted file format, which fits a wide range of post-processing workflows. Once you've selected your EXR output from the dropdown, you'll notice a Create Multi-Layer File checkbox appears at the bottom of the Layers and Passes section. Enabling this option embeds the output render layers and passes within your EXR file. At this point, you can go ahead and render your scene as you normally would. You can then find your rendered EXR in your designated render folder and open it for post-processing from there. A couple things to note about EXRs, depending on the application you're using to post-process your renders, you may need a plugin to view your exported layers. I'm working on a Windows PC, and in this case, I'm using a free EXR plugin to import and view my EXR in Photoshop. Once installed, this plugin allows me to easily import my EXR files and the attached layers and render passes. I'll go ahead and put a link to that plugin in the description below, as well as one that is supported on Mac OS. Another thing to note is that EXRs also produce a significantly smaller output file size in comparison to PSD outputs. This can prove useful even if you are already a Photoshop user. So if you're looking for a more universal output format or just something smaller in size that's more manageable, give the Keyshot EXR output a try. And as always, if you're interested in more useful Keyshot content, hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this quick tip in the comment section below.